Paul singer Jonathan Davis has explained in whilst making his new album The Nothing, the really process of grieving in a, in a recent interview. What makes this more fascinating though is that it's fascinating to include an attraction, a paranormal macabre. It's described of having ghosts in his own home. They said he also possesses human remains. Feeling he lost his mother around the time and his wife, Devan Davis, died last year, the musician's household spectres line up with his well documented lure of death. Davis once worked in a funeral home. Frequent obsession with silver colours partly led to its association with the paranormal investigator and Zag Brackens. I see things in the corner of my eyes in my home, he told NME. I like to be like, oh, hey, because the point is, they're all the time, they're bangs on my wall, the time shit flies off the walls. At this point, it doesn't scare me, it's just there. All I wish for it, for them is peace. I wish they could cross over. I was scared when I was a kid. Call vocalist also talked about parts of their bodies retained in his home in addition. Musician says a trove of hoarded dolls that necessitated spiritual barrier he erected to protect him. I have the remains of at least seven people in my house. He added, I've got a shrunken head, skulls, a got a swords, and he it been used to decapitate people. I have a huge haunted doll collection. I got them from all over the world when they all got different stories, which I find fascinating. I get them from antique shops. I'm giving them a home. I know a few owners at various places. They normally give me a tip off if they've got something they think I like. I mean, you you can feel the shit in all these dolls. You get close and it's them. I I'm so take so I take them home, put and bought them with the other dolls. I have a spiritual barrier made from certain stones and stage and fences them all off and protects me.